So we, nowadays because we don't have this connection, nowadays we think to ourselves, how is this possible? When we think about the great Imam Ghalib Rahmatullah reading his Fajr Salah with the Uzu of Isha Namaz and how could you read Namaz all night? I say brothers and sisters, it's very easy. You know, you ask a brother nowadays, he's on his social media from Isha till Fajr, he doesn't even realize. That fake banauti lazat, that fake sensation happiness that he gets from his mobile phones, he can't even realize that Fajr time has come, he's still on his Facebook, on his Twitter, on his uh, WhatsApp and whatever and he's going according to that and he's not even realizing that 5-6 hours have gone. That is fake love. For these people, they had the true love for Allah. And when they stood up, like Uwais Farni Rahmatullah used to say, Today is my day of Qiyam. He used to stay in Qiyam all night. Today is my day of Ruku, all night in Ruku. Today is my day of Sajda. Today he used to stay in the Sajda. This was the thing. Because these people had the true love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hearts. So the point here is, we need to connect ourselves. These people, I always say about the fantastic four. You know, when I was passing by the Maqam in Ibrahim, who doing the Tawaf, and I thought about these four people, great Imams, which is mentioned in the books of history, the great four people, that they read the entire Quran in one record behind Maqam in Ibrahim. It's recorded in the books. Four. Number one, Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan, the third Khalifa of Islam. He, in one rakat, behind Maqam Ibrahim, he stood there. The person says, who narrates, I was sitting down, reading my namaz, and suddenly somebody came, he tapped me on my uh, shoulder, he told me to just move a bit, and then he just started his salah. And I was just observing him. And subhanAllah, he did not stop until he didn't come to Qulaw al Nas. Usman ibn Affan The second, Tamim al-Dari radiallahu ta'ala, was also a Sahabi was a Christian before that he embraced Islam, he, subhanAllah, he read the entire Qur'an in one rakat behind Maqam Ibrahim. The two Sahabi. The two Tabi'i, one Sa'id ibn Jubair, the great student of Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas ta'ala And the second one, our great Imam, Imam Abu Hanifa. These people, subhanAllah, look at the connection they have with the Qur'an. So my brothers and sisters, this month, at least I would recommend and I would request my brothers and sisters, at least if we can't do 10, we can't do 5, at least one juz every day. So we could at least do a khatam. How are we going to go in front of Usman radiallahu ta'ala anhu? He used to do so much and we say, we love you Usman. So where's the love? Where's that connection? So let us get that connection with the Qur'an, at least make a timetable, in that timetable we have our five times prayers, we have our divine appointments with Allah, the five times prayers, and we also recite our Qur'an, at least one juz every day. Also, in this month, how do you make the preparations? We need to make sure that this month is the month of Sadaqat. SubhanAllah, like we, the announcement was done about the uh, Madrasa there, mashallah, and the masjid. So we need to make sure we start to plan this out. Like the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ says that every day the two types of angels come down. One angel comes down, he says, Allahumma aati munfiqan khalafa. One angel comes down and he does dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the person who spends in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala good reward. And another angel comes down and he says, Allahumma aati munfiqan talafa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give destruction to the person who withholds. Who misers, who doesn't give in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we don't want to be the misers. We want to give. The Prophet nas. He was the most generous. And he was the most generous in the month of Ramadan. I said, look, there's one person who's Bakhil. And who is a Bakhil? Al Bakhilu Ladiyakun wala yukalumin. Bakhil is a person who only eats himself, he doesn't let anybody else eat. And there's one step further. As Shaheen. And who's a Shaheen? Shahi is not miser, as Shahi Allah la yakun wala yukalumin. He doesn't eat himself, he doesn't let anybody else eat as well. And Allahu Akbar, believe me or not, my brothers and sisters, I have met people like that as well. These people, they're just accumulating wealth. I went to one person's house and he, he I thought he was a millionaire, he didn't even have a carpet on his house. And the table that he brought, he said from the outside, he just got some wood and he just made, he just put some nails and he just put that forward. And he goes, sorry. Well, he said, there's no tea available, I don't have tea bags or anything. This day and age, so I said, what is this person going to do with all this money? So this is a shahi neither has he eaten himself, neither has he fed anybody, no hospitality. So in this month of Ramadan, let us think about our, our brothers and sisters and let us 
give to those people. Unfortunately, this day and age, what is happening? We are eating so much that in the month of Ramadan, we are putting on weight. We're supposed to at least lose weight or at least keep it normal. But Allahu Akbar, half of the world is dying of hunger, the other half is dying of eating too much. There's no balance. There's no balance in life. So this is very, very important thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this month is a month of the Quran. This month is a month of reflection. We think about our brothers and sisters. And at the same time, we need to make preparation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to us, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That taqwa, that fear, that when it comes to us, then we'll see the blessing will come. And this month especially, like your Imam Sahib Abu Muzaffir Sahib was saying, that the starting of this Sanatain course. I just like to say briefly about this Sanatain course. And the word Sanat, Sana means one year. Sanatain, two years. <laughs> so basically, we started this Sanatain course 22 years ago in our uh, Madrasa Jami Khatim and Rafu. And subhanAllah, from that class, we have students who are half his Alim Muftis now. So starting from very basic, from basic Alim Baka. So there were people who were the doctors there, there were and teachers there who didn't even know how to read Alif Bata. So what happened was they read Alif Bata, we taught them from Nurani Qaida, we taught them from the basic Muslim asylum of uh, Salah of Wuzu, and mashallah now they are teaching Muslim Sharif and Bukhari Sharif. So this is the golden opportunity for our brothers and sisters in Ashton, especially around Masjid Hamza, that we join these classes. And I, through my own experience, Alhamdulillah, after starting in our Jami Fatah Munabu Brahu, Alhamdulillah, at least about good 10 different mas mas madrasas have started around the UK. I was in Scotland last month. They've started in Scotland as well. And they see the benefits. So I want all our youngsters, boys and girls, to start these classes up. And you'll see the results. And that will change and transform the community. We used to have only two, three people coming to this spiritual gathering and I was looking at the audience on Friday and subhanAllah we didn't have more space. We had a thousand people that can accommodate in that hall but it was overflowing. So it's the blessing we can change the community and this is the thing that we want our children especially in this day and age when trials and tribulations a time will come upon the people a person who's persevering on his deen is like the person who's holding hot chakra on his hand. So this is the time we need our children. So all the brothers and sisters who are listening, who are here as well, and especially our youngsters, these are the classes to join. And we can make that bond with the Quran strong, that bond with the masjid strong, with madrasa, with deen, with our beloved Prophet strong by joining these classes. We will be taught the faith, we'll be taught the hadith, we'll be taught the du'as, we'll be taught the Muslim asan, we'll be taught the Arabic language, we'll be taught the tajweed, all these things in very easy step, but twice a week, and in just two, three hours. And in that way, the same classes run to the end, and mashallah, these people, they graduate as scholars, males and females. So this is a golden opportunity. So for us to join these classes, and inshallah, this, this month, let us make that firm intention, <coughs> so after Ramadan, we can start these classes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless this gathering, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give us the ability to act upon what has been said, make the month of Ramadan prosperous as much as possible. Allahu da'amun alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Allahumma amin alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wal aqibatu lil muttaqeen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyid al-anbiya wal mursaleen. Allahumma la tada'alana dhamban illa baqabta. Wa la hamman illa farwajta. Wa la karban illa nafasta. Wa la daynan illa addayta. Wa la suwalan illa a'tayta. Wa la du'aan illa ajabta. Wa la maridan illa shafayta. Wa la maytan illa rahimta. Wa la hajata min hawaij dunia wal akhira. Hiya la karidan wa lana fiha salat. Illa qadaytaha ya arham arwahimin. Allahumma جعل هذا الاجتماع اجتماعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا ولا منا ولا معنا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم تقبل هذا المجلس يا رب العالمين كما تقبل من عبادك الصالحين اللهم تقبل هذا المجلس يا رب العالمين كما تقبل من عبادك الصالحين اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاف عنا اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاف عنا اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم اجعل آخر كلامنا من الدنيا لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله السلام عليكم just like to say جزاك الله خيرا في المفتسان for coming here obviously it is he is very very busy so the fact that he's managed to put our masjid as one of his spots in the 
for the month. He's very, I'm very aware of his timetable. Every single weekend, he's jam packed with bayans. Sometimes he's doing a tour in London or Luton in a couple of weeks also. So he's very, very busy. So the reason why Mufsal is here, and he's mentioned as well, is so he can encourage us all to do Amal. And especially because the month of Ramadan is coming, we should become people of action, not just people of words in the month of Ramadan, inshallah. Also, I'd just like to mention about the Sanatine that Mufsal is talking about. This is something that will be starting after the month of Ramadan. And it will be open to, initially we said, girls and boys over the age of 14. And they'll be taught the basic Islamic knowledge alongside the Arabic language, so slowly but surely they can get into translating the Quran, learning fiqh, learning hadith in the Arabic language, very, very gradually, very, very slowly. Nothing difficult, nothing that somebody can't handle. Like I said, if it's something that you're finding it too difficult, we'll drop the tempo as well, we'll lower the tempo a little bit to make it easy for yourself. Please do. I know a lot of people have shown interest on our social media sites, on Facebook, Instagram, etc. Many people are requesting. Inshallah, the application forms will be ready very soon. And on Monday, someone, can, anyone can come and collect them off myself. Or you can see one of our volunteers, Brother Askar, Brother Azamat, have his unit You can speak to any of these guys and, and they direct you towards how to do that also. Also, as everybody knows, at the end of every single month, we do sell um, literature at the back. Now, this literature is the books of Sab himself. Now, he's written a good... About 50 books now, mashallah, and his target is to write like about 1,400 books, which is an amazing intention to have. So he's writing and he's constantly writing and his works are very, very beneficial. Everyone's requested to purchase these books, take them home and read them. And like we always mention, all the proceeds that, you read, that we raise from these books go towards funding our future programs and events as well. So it is for a, the money does go towards a very good cause. Um, all brothers and sisters are requested, inshallah, to please do eat from the food and then everyone can go. Jazakallah khairan for attending. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.